Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Sorry, I look crazy. This is another impromptu video. To be totally honest and frank with you guys, I had a very crap day. Like I had a crap day at work and it put me in a really crappy mood. So when I got home, well, after work, I went to spin, which put me in a better mood. And then I thought to myself, well, let's just keep the happiness train going. So I thought, why not sit down with you guys and film because I really, really enjoy filming with you guys. Now, this is kind of a video that I probably should have filmed a long time ago because I am reviewing the not so very new anymore Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I was waiting for a 20% off coupon from Ulta if I'm being totally quite honest with you guys. So I finally got my 20% off. I picked this bad boy up um, two days ago on Saturday when I after I got my hair done So I figured this is like the perfect time to do this video This is a first impressions video, but I feel like you know This is the kind of thing where like in one shot like you pretty much get the idea of whether or not you like it So I'm gonna unbox this. We're gonna play with this. We're gonna see how it goes So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the Revlon hair dryer Yes, we are finally doing a hair video Video. So y'all know I am not like a big hair kind of person. Actually, let me put some chapstick on. My lips are very dry. And I'm actually wearing like the thickest mask of all time. It's very, very thick. It feels like a sunscreen. So my face might melt in this video. I don't know. We will uh we will find out shortly. I love this. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Great Body Below Dry Cream, and it is a heat protector as well. Never put heat on your hair without a heat protector, I'm telling you. And I use about that much. I love this stuff. It gives my hair so much body. I have like the flattest not like the straightest, but I have pretty straight flat hair. So I'm just gonna put this all throughout, really focusing like on my roots because this is where I want the body up here. Now I like this stuff. It really doesn't make my hair greasy. It doesn't really smell. It smells nice. It has like a really faint scent. But I'm just putting this all throughout my hair. And if I sound nasally, um, hello, allergies. Are awful like today I literally felt awful I felt like I had the flu like I was sweating then I was freezing then my like body was aching it was really crazy so yeah allergies they suck and no matter what people say allergy medicine doesn't work do you take an allergy medicine that works because I tried Zyrtec and I felt like someone drugged me I literally was falling asleep at my desk at work then I tried Claritin and like was still suffering and now I'm on Allegra I mean, Allegra is definitely the best for me, but I still suffer from like allergy symptoms. If any of you suffer from allergies and have found a remedy, let a girl know. I did the cream like you saw, and then I just combed it through my hair. Now I'm just gonna part my hair a little bit, and then we will get on into it. I look really crazy in this video, and I'm like in my pajama moo moo. It's so comfortable. I'm pretty sure, what is it, by Rachel, who's that blogger? Uh, Pink and Pony, Pink Peenies, what's her name? I don't know, Rachel, she did a line with Nordstrom, I wanna say, oh my God. Her sleep moo-moos are the best. I'm really hoping this doesn't take forever because you guys know I like really, really hate doing my hair. I don't have the time, I don't have the patience. I just, I don't, I don't have it in me. It's just, it's just not my thing. Where are my scissors here? Hello, scissors? Well, I finally got this bad boy out and I'm really excited to use it. It's lighter than I thought it was, to be honest. I feel like a lot of people said it was kind of hefty and I was expecting this to be, I mean, maybe once I get into the hair, it'll feel a little bit heavier. But right now, the weight feels totally fine to me. Um, I am going to time how long this takes me to blow dry my hair in case any of you lazy betches out there are like me and you just can't be bothered. I want to know for myself too, not just for you guys. But let's read about it. For faster results, towel dry hair to remove excess water, which I already did. Run a comb through damp hair to detangle for best results. Plug the appliance into an electric outlet and adjust the switch to the selected setting. Use the low setting on fine or thin hair and the high setting on thick and coarse hair. Use the cool setting to lock in the style. So I'm going to use the low setting because I have thin hair. And I'm going to lock it in with the cool setting um, afterwards because that helps to prevent um, those baby hairs or like those strays 
from sticking straight up. It kind of like, you know, brings them into the hair so it doesn't look as crazy. But as you can see, the settings are right here. You can, it, There's off, cool, low, and high. So I'm gonna put it on low and then blast it with cool at the end. And that's the only button on here, so that's kind of awesome. Low maintenance, like I like. Um, Separate hair into manageable sections for smooth blowout. Place the volumizer close to the roots and brush down towards the end. The mixed nylon pin with rounded tips quickly detangle while tufted bristles with bore technology gently grip hair to smooth and promote shine. What is bore technology? Creates extra lift, smooth volume, and curled ends. So I guess that is just like a fancy word for blowout, I would assume. All right, so let's, you know, I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. Let's just uh, get into it and we'll see how long it takes. Let me plug this guy in. I'm really, I'm envisioning like all of my lights going out and me losing power, which that would suck. But I was just uh, tempted to say, do it for the vine. This is not vine fortune. This is YouTube. And I was just about to say Instagram. Okay, let's get her started. And I'm gonna put this on the cool setting. this I'm three minutes in uh, I was using the cool setting that entire time so like I was going through it and it was drying my hair but I was like wow this is like really cool and then I looked down and was like oh betch you're supposed to be on low so I feel like this is definitely gonna go a lot faster now that I know how to use this the low is kind of hot so like I'm not gonna put the high on my hair but let's see what it feels like The hot is definitely too hot for my hair. I like to use very minimal heat on my hair. I'm just like one of those wackos where although I never do my hair, I hate when I have like those little like baby hair flyaways that, you know, happen because of hair breakage. So I'm gonna continue to use the low setting, not the cool setting, and um, let's continue the uh, timer. Okay, so that small, not small, but like that's a decent section of hair while using the cool setting took me a little bit less than four minutes. So not bad, I mean, and I like the bristle. I like that like I can just keep like going like this. Like I can just keep like spinning it around and around and around to really get that blowout effect because I mean, honestly, I cannot blow out my hair. Like when I blow dry my hair, I just literally put my head like down and just blow dry my hair and it usually comes out flat because i have really flat hair but my hair feels so soft guys like so soft i think that it really does grip the hair like you guys can see my hair is not going everywhere it does a really good job of keeping it in place and what i will say though is that even though there are vents on both sides the air doesn't come out evenly so some vents it comes out more than others because like at the top i feel like the air comes out a little bit more than like in the middle but hey i feel like i'll definitely use this so let's do the other side without using the cool setting Okay, so this side took me three minutes. Look at this. It looks like I got a salon blowout. Like I literally got my hair done this weekend. I got a cut color and a blowout and I mean, 
This looks just as good. Holy crap! Guys, I am really shook right now. Okay, let's do the top of the head. I'm really curious to see, like, in total, like, how long this takes. It's a little damp, like, towards the scalp, but I will say, if you go like this, it comes out nice. Like, if you just stay towards the end, like, it comes out nice, but if you bring it up and, like, roll it up higher and roll it up higher, that's what really gives you that, like, blow out, like, wisp at the bottom. I love how quiet this is though. Like the cool setting is definitely kind of loud. Like in the beginning, you know, when I first went in and had no idea what I was doing and I clicked the cool setting, like definitely loud, but the actual setting that I need to blow dry my hair, I love that it's not really, really loud. That took a total of 11 and a half minutes to do my whole head. Wow, I'm really excited. I'm gonna blast it with the cool setting just so, like I said, it will uh, maintain those strays and maybe make my hair a little less frizzy uh, by locking it in with that cool setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So 11 and a half minutes, and then if you wanna do the cool, I will continue to time, but you know, you get it. This is pretty freaking awesome. Total time, 12 and a half minutes. Wow, guys. I mean, I, I, uh, I'm at a loss for words. I'm shocked, I'm shook, I'm shooketh. Like, I cannot remember the last time I did my hair and it looked this good. If you are someone that loves a blowout, but you just can't like get that roller brush going. Like, how do they do that? How do hairdressers just like roll it and roll it and catch it and roll, like I can't do that. This is amazing. Literally, it like takes all of the guessing out of it. You can just keep rolling and rolling and rolling. This looks like I got my hair blown out um, and I spent $50. And if you think about it, like if you go to like Dry Bar or like any place where you can go get a blowout, like they charge you 50 bucks for one blowout. Spend 50 bucks and you can do your own blowout every time you wash your hair. So I'm a really big fan. I could totally take a shower. I would air dry your hair, towel dry it, air dry it a little bit, and then go in with a regular blow dryer, put your head upside down and just blow it out a little bit. And then go in with this as like a finishing touch to really give you the voluminous, like yummy, delicious, like blowout effect. I really love this. I think that if you did that, it would cut down your blow drying time to 10 minutes. I will definitely try that and let you guys know in an upcoming video. I'll just, you know, comment on it and let you guys know where I'm at with this. I really wish I had a full face of makeup on right now. Instead, I have this really thick mask that is melting off my face because I'm so hot from blow drying my hair. I will use this every time I shower now. Well, every time I wash my hair. I don't wash my hair every time I shower. I wash my hair like twice a week. <laughs> I think this is a really awesome alternative for any of you guys who have been thinking about getting the Dyson, but maybe you don't want to take that plunge. I mean, you know, $500, that's kind of expensive. I wouldn't spend that just because I don't do my hair enough. I mean, maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. I don't know, I haven't tried it, so I cannot touch upon that. But if you have been on the fence and you don't want to spend that money, girl, go to Ulta or Target. Pick this up. I guarantee you, you're going to love it. I mean, look at this, look at this. And I am not talented when it comes to hair, so if I can do this, Anyone can do this. This is so ridiculous, but I feel so blessed to have finally picked this up. And I'm so happy that I sat down and did this video because I'm really glad that I got this like full on reaction. Honestly, like I wasn't planning on doing this video because so many people have done it, but I'm really glad that I filmed it. I was just gonna go and wash my hair one night and do it and see what happened. I went to my cousin's confirmation this past weekend and I went to the bathroom because I had to pee and they had this like in the bathroom and I walked out and was like Olivia, Victoria, and Claudia. What are your thoughts? Because I literally just bought it today and they were like, it is amazing. And oh my God, girls, it is 
amazing. I love this. I really enjoyed doing this video. If you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it and as much as I enjoy my hair right now, be sure to leave it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know, do you own this bad boy? If you do, do you like it? Do you love it? I mean, I can't imagine you hating it. Let me know your thoughts on it. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you. And while you are there, click the bell button that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my channel. I am uploading at least twice a week, if not three times a week. Honestly, my job has been a little bit crazy lately, which is my full-time job, which has been cutting into my editing time and my uploading ability. But if you click the bell button, you're going to get a notification whenever it is it goes live. But hopefully I will be on a schedule very, very soon. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, finders. Mwah.